Church and I'm about to go take Van on the walk, so let's go. Let's go get some fresh air. Hey y'all, I just got done walking Zane and I had stopped to get packages downstairs. In a minute, I'm about to make a throwback snack that I made with y'all from the very, very beginning when I made this channel. So I keep on watching, but before I do that, I went downstairs and I got my packages, so we're about to have a quick unboxing. So church today was really, really good. Today's service was talking about how God is here to serve us. Just informing us and reminding us that Jesus is going to turn it all around. He is a revolutionist and he is going to do what he needs to do. He can transform water from a rock and just reminding us to just have faith in him and that good things are going to come at the end of the day. So that's the word for today. But I had just got this Frizz Control Shampoo and Conditioner by Moroccan Oil. I actually like their products. I had got their anti-frizz spray and it is amazing. I like to use it as like a leave-in because it just detangles my hair so effortlessly. Let's see what's in this one. She's cute. Oh, it's a little wonky. I don't know. I feel like, let me know, is this a good spring summer color for me? I feel like it kind of is. I'm really glad I didn't spend all my money on the original one. I'd rather just get it and just let it be what it is. So cute. And then I can fold it in. Fold it in like this. So cute. So yeah, I feel like this is a cute little summer spring bag and then I like how it came with this little bag inside it was definitely giving me this string sticking out child but you know get what you pay for my little bowling shoes I hope I wear these I really do and I'm upset because y'all know the other ones I showed you in my last vlog the all tan ones I have returned them and they charge me a return fee, a restock fee to be exact. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. If you guys buy something from a retail or third party seller, they're gonna charge you, most likely. Now I got this package from Abercrombie. These are my linen pants. Cute, simple black linen pants for the summertime that I could wear in the office or church or wherever. I have this huge, I'm pretty sure she in package, but I'm gonna save it for last. I really want to upload this video like today, Sunday, and like let it be a spend the day with me type of vibe. Some paw cleaner for Zane. I had got him one of these and he ran out, so I just ordered another one. And another item for Zane, this is a toy. And then you can like put treats on the inside. It's little pockets on it. It was a nasty toy. You got the little bill poop stains in it. Same, it's your toy. Ew, it got poop in it, Ugh. This is a nasty toy. I saw it on TikTok and I just got it. After the big package, I'm gonna actually do a try on haul in this vlog so you guys can see what I got. Cause I got some items off of Shein. So I got this basket for Lisa because I'm gonna make her a birthday basket. I got all of her gifts. I'm not gonna show it in this vlog because I'm not gonna give it to her yet. And I know she's gonna watch it. Lisa, I'm see you. But I'm going to put some cute little things at the bottom, like the shredded paper, and then put her gifts out on display. I think it's gonna be so cute. So I'll be recording that soon, but saving it. I got this cute little watch. I'm really stepping into like really accessorizing, so I'm excited. Oh, this is cute. I got a cute little crossbody bag. It's so cute. And uh, like I said, this is from Shein. I got another watch, so. One is more square and one is rectangular. Picked up these cute little slides. 
I got this from Stephanie Macedo from her spring slash summer Shein haul that she did last year, I think. I got some happy birthday decorations because my boyfriend Elisa's birthday is coming up really soon. So I just went ahead and ordered both of their decorations just so that I can decorate my apartment for when it's their birthday. A cute little compact brush to go in my purse. And then it matches my um, travel supplements case. You know what I'm talking about? Some cute little earrings that I might be going on vacation for my boyfriend's birthday. I'm not sure yet. He's still trying to make up his mind. But if I do go, I just have a couple of items. Speaking of that, I got a cute little swimsuit. Oh, it's so cute. So to let y'all in on fashion, the pop out flowers is going to be in on your clothes. So I got this. I also got one like this from Fashion Nova. Oh, this is gonna have my booty out. I'm gonna get a cover up. <laughs> but I think it's so cute. The model is just working it, so I just got it too. I got these cute little earrings. My hair is definitely getting longer, so I feel like in a month or so, I'm gonna try to flatten it out, like straighten it. And then I got this cute little comb to where I can chase my hair and then like clip the ends, if you know what I mean. I got these cute little earrings. I think they're so cute. And then I saw this like cute ponytail holder. I thought it was going to come with like a rubber band, but I guess you just stick this in the rubber band that you already have. So I was going to like do ponytail looks for this summer, so I got that. And I also got it in gold, so it should be cute. Oh yeah, this is what I was thinking about. I got another swimsuit. This is so cute. And contrast is definitely going to be in style this year too. So like black and whites, creams and whites, which y'all know is my favorite, so I'm excited for that. Okay, I got some clothes, so I'm about to try that on, and we can do like a quick little try on haul together. Y'all, this is so cute. I really like this. The dress isn't like too thin. I'm able to wear undergarments under it, and you aren't able to see it that much. You can't see my belly button, but I feel like I'll just wear some shape wear, and I should be fine. But this is like definitely giving beach vibes, but at the same time, I can wear this out when I'm shopping with friends or going out to eat at a restaurant in the summertime. It's just super cute. And then with these slides, definitely gives beach. But I kind of like them. It gives like the granddad, uncle shoes. So outfit number one, I'm gonna need y'all to pick which outfit y'all think is the best. So this is outfit number one. This is outfit number two. Don't mind this tag. I haven't worn these shorts yet, but this is just a cute casual, out to eat, out for shopping type of outfit. Let me know if you think I should wear like a full black shirt so that my skin isn't showing right here. But all in all, I think it's super cute. Just gives that, it's still a little chilly but I wanna wear shorts type of vibe. And then as you guys can see, I got the Steve Madden shoes, the classic Madden or Maven. Y'all know the name, so. Got this, so cute. Okay, this is outfit number three. I feel like the pants look a little purple on my camera, but they're more of like a light or like a dark taupe. But this is super cute. I kind of feel like black pants will look good with this shirt, but all in all, I'm definitely gonna keep the shirt. I can tell it's kind of a cheaper quality shirt, but that's fine, I'm plan on you know, wanted to save it for long. So I could just get probably two or three wears out of it and then throw it out. But it's definitely cute. Cute little look. So on to outfits. On to the next outfit. Y'all, I love this outfit. I love, love, love this outfit. Let me get a purse. Bag. Oh yeah, this is cute. How cute is this? Once again, don't mind the tags. I haven't worn it yet. But this is so cute. The cardigan is from Shein. The pants are from Abercrombie and Fitch. And then the bag is from The Gate. And I, I get close up of the jewelry. Like I said, I'm really enjoying accessorizing this season. So I just got the Louis Vuitton bracelet. This bracelet from Shein. And then these are from Shein as well. Or AliExpress, one of these. This is from AliExpress, and these are from AliExpress too, so. So cute, y'all. Ah, I'm gonna have everything linked 
down below so that you guys can shop too. Hopefully this is giving you guys some spring outfit inspo. And I'm also gonna share my Pinterest so you guys can follow me on there and just get an idea of the things I'm loving at the moment because a lot of the outfits that I'm creating is definitely coming from there because I am not, I'm not good at styling outfits like at all. Or I'll go ahead and screenshot like somebody's outfit of the day on TikTok and I'll just get inspo from that. But so cute. I'm gonna have on the screen the girl I got this outfit inspo from. She was a navy cardigan, but I just decided to get red because y'all know red is just that girl this season. So so cute. Okay, this outfit is cute. I have on the same black linen pants. And then this trendy top from Shein. I got a little makeup on it, but don't mind that. And then I paired the Sambas with it. I feel like I tried to go up a half size because I thought it would be tight, but they feel pretty big. So I'm gonna see if I can return these for free for eight and a half. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think what shoes would I wear if I didn't have these? Like, do I really need these shoes? But they're cute, I guess. I don't know, do y'all like these? Let me know in the comments. If you don't like them, I'm just going to return them and not get another size. But I think I definitely need to get an eight and a half because they're a little big. But they definitely remind me of all my shoes. Like, what do y'all think? I'm going for the contrast look, as you guys can see. Real simple. So, like, I was letting y'all know she in for, like, the trendy things because I normally don't care for stuff like this, but it's in style, so I see other people, like, make outfits from it and make it look cute, so I want to try myself, and that's why I get this, and that's why I get, like, trendy items like this, but for, like, classics, like these black linen pants, I definitely wanted to invest in good quality, which is why I got these ones from Abercrombie & Fitch, and yeah. I'm really excited with like my Abercrombie. Let me show y'all my face. I'm really excited to be giving you guys an Abercrombie and Fitch haul. Fingers crossed that the quality is good. I haven't like looked at the video of me filming it yet. Hopefully it's good quality for me to make a dedicated video for it. But yeah, I'm really excited. The items that I got are really cute. So yeah. Y'all, I need a maintenance day so bad. But I'm trying to wait until the Nicki Minaj concert because me and Lisa are going to go see Nicki Minaj. And it's going to be so fun. But I want everything to be fresh. So I'm going to get my braids refreshed i'm gonna get my eyebrows threaded and yeah we're just gonna have a good maintenance day so look forward to that let me know if you want a dedicated video for that or not i'm thinking that would be real cute like getting ready to go see Nicki minaj type of video yeah my eyebrows as you can see my eyebrows get so thick like i've always had thick bushy eyebrows and i was looking at my old pictures from like high school yeah look at this picture like my eyebrows are way too thin y'all see how thick they get so yeah i just don't need them to be that thin but i usually like this look so yeah i want them done so bad but i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna wait so that it can be fresh fingers crossed they do it right because i'm gonna go to a place i've never gone before i usually would go at my hometown to go get my eyebrows threaded so this is the first time i'm gonna try to find a place that's near where i live so we'll see child we'll see but yeah y'all that is the end of today's little mini haul i'm gonna go ahead and try to make my throwback snack in the air fryer i already got it prepped and everything so yeah let's go ahead and first put all this stuff up I cleaned it up a little bit. I put it all in one bag. But in here is the problem. Y'all tell me why. Oh. Y'all tell me why. I think I gave my denim skirts to Goodwill. And I don't know why because it was a good denim skirt. But I guess I was like, oh, I haven't worn it all year. I need to just get rid of it. Why would I do that? I don't know. But I was going through, I have this little bin. I have this little bin where I like put my summer things. And I thought it would be in here and it's not. So, I'm annoyed. I'm really just ready to move because, let me show y'all my closet. I can't see anything. It's like everything is just, everything is just in one spot. And I just don't know what I have in my closet. Because all my coats are right there. I have a Christmas tree behind that. I mean, I can see my shirts for the most part, but and y'all know i do not like i don't like clutter i don't like it at all i still need to try on my swimsuit that i got 
and I didn't show y'all but I got this y'all know this set I'm pretty sure y'all seen this all over social media but I just got it because I saw that Stephanie Macedo she had a black dress and then like she draped this I'm sorry it looks so yellow hopefully I can edit that she like draped it like this to get like <laughs> golf golf babe goes I don't know but I really loved I love this look. look cardigan look yeah that ate okay, so I got my carrot already put olive oil and seasonings on it I think I just put some garlic powder onion powder paprika and I'm about to put some more salt on there I'm gonna put it in the air fryer As y'all see, I have my carrot fries. It's been a while since I made this. Put some salt on them. And I love the ones that are like super skinny like this because they really taste like potato fries to me. Big ones will do. So y'all comment down below if you remember me making these like two years ago, I think when I first moved into my apartment. I really miss potatoes. I could have like a baked potato, but I'm really trying to cut off of it. Unless like really necessary, like in a pot roast or something like that. But I definitely am not having any fried foods. These are hard. I really want some french fries so bad. But my fast is on good y'all. No fried foods, no dairy. No hookah. It's tough, but sticking to it, sticking to it. They were talking about that at church today to just stick to your fast and you need a fast to hear the Lord. So I'm sticking to it. Mm, that was a good one. But I'm about to eat this and then I will update you guys later.